Well, in March, Tully Johns was forced to shift his personal training and nutrition company, HeroFit, to an online platform, as did many other fitness businesses. However, apparently the change hasn't been all bad. Here to tell us more is Tully Johns. Welcome to the show. No, tell us a little bit about Thank you so running, much. running your business before COVID, what you were doing before and, and how you pivoted through the pandemic. I was a personal trainer and nutrition coach and had a full book of clients, was traveling really well. And yes, COVID hit us and I had to pivot. I'm sick of that word as we all are, oh, but uh, I did it. And now have a uh, thriving online hero fit uh, personal training and nutrition coaching business. So I'm loving it. So tell us a little bit about this because I've spoken to a few people in this space and they were sort of like, oh, we were never going to launch a digital element, a digital offering, but now that it's there, it's going gangbusters and we'll probably never get rid of it. Have you found that to be the case? Yeah, definitely. As a personal trainer, I, I did have an element that was online, but it certainly wasn't as developed as it is now. And I won't go back. I am really looking forward to getting back into personal training and connecting with people in person. But having an online platform has enabled me now to reach so many more people. And I guess it sounds a bit corny, but I want to reach as many people as possible. And I've now got the opportunity to be a personal trainer to anybody anywhere in the world, which is really exciting. It is definitely. And I think, you know, particularly when you're somewhere like what we are in Victoria and the weather can be so hit and miss, people are so time poor, you know, in terms of getting to the gym. There's a lot of excuses, I guess, as to why you don't get there. But when you've got this online offering, that's certainly a plus, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, it is a case of trying to remove as many barriers as possible from the, the whole fitness and the gym setting and even nutrition. So if I can eliminate people needing to get in the car and drive to the gym and find a car park and get out and it's cold, as you say, in Melbourne. So yes, <laughs> there is less barriers to online fitness training and that's a plus. Have you had any challenges along the way? Oh, look, definitely. I, as I mentioned earlier, I love training people in person. I get so much out of connecting with my clients. I used to train elephants for a living, believe it or not, before I was a personal trainer. And so relying on that connection between either the animal or the, uh, the human that I'm training is paramount. So the challenge for me has been maintaining and developing that connection despite there being a screen in between us. So hopefully I'm getting better at that. I am still stuck on this training elephants thing. You're going to have to come back on another time and explain to me all about that because I've got a million questions that we don't necessarily Anytime. have time for now. But, oh, my goodness, sure. what a unique job. Tell everyone where they can find you, Tully, in regards to the, the PT stuff. Hero Fit is the name of my company, herofit.com.au is where you should head and uh, check out the content there and I'm on YouTube as well. You'll see the link on the website there. So join me in a home workout. I've got myself and my dog who's oh, absolutely bless. pumped to be on <laughs> Ticker TV. So <laughs> there you go. I love it. Join I love us it. in my lounge room and yeah, we'll have some fun. Thanks so much for joining us, Tully. A manly man indeed. Thank you, Alana. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Thank you so much. Thanks.